what character archetype refers to a mysterious and seductive wo a succubus? Which of the following maps can you paint without any adjacent areas being the same color? Well, what do you mean by that? It depends on what kind of Crayolas you got. I mean, none of it. You can paint any map any color you want. Like, what are we, what are we talking about? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Persona 5 Royale. Now, today's episode, we're going to be scholarly. Today's episode, we're going to take and we're going to pass our exams. So without further ado, I want to play. Let's get into it. Persona 5 Royale, the test. <laughs> okay, I want to level up some more for this test. Because one thing I'm not going to do is fail my first exam. Now, I found out that some of the stuff you get from the castles can be used as, like, I forget someone's exact explanation, but it's like charms or something that can help you level up faster and all that. You feel me? So, I'm going to keep that in mind. Will I remember? I don't know. Find out on this episode of Persona 5 Royale. I finally got it. I leveled up. All right. Your knowledge has increased from oblivious to learned. Okay. I don't know if... Like I said, I don't know how much I actually need. Ah, uh, you're back. I think that's good for now, right up. now, though. Shut up, Shojiro. Um, so I'm gonna see what else I can get into in this nightlife. I I think I might do the 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 bang challenge again, the bang burger, or I could go to the batting cages and increase my proficiency. But I don't know if that's open. What? Then. What's it like inside? Okay, I can. Alright, let's level up some proficiency. I see. So they're doing this on the rooftop. It's like, uh, what's that place called? Top Golf? Mm -hmm. I haven't seen you here before. In case you didn't know, this, the services here change depending on the time of day. How so? Using the batting cages will cause time to pass, but you can get prizes based on your performance. Your proficiency will also improve. You will face a total of five pitches. Hitting all five pitches will get you the slugger prize. If you hit a home run, you'll get the home run prize. I'm not doing that today. I already know. Activities available change according to the time of day. At night, there are no prizes, but you can swing as much as you want. Also. If you hit three home runs, you'll receive a coupon for a free day session. Okay, so we're at night, so I'm not going to get anything. I should have brought my water. I don't have anything to drink on my desk except hand sanitizer. You can win prizes here during the day. At night, there are no prizes, but you can play all you want. And if you hit three home runs, I'll give you a free ticket to play during the day. Good deal. Want to give it a try? 500 yen? That's nothing to me. That's chump change. Let me in these batting cages real quick. Beginner Intermediate. Man, put me in. Let me not. Good luck. 43 miles per hour. That's faster than a car in a school zone. Oh, I actually have to hit it? Adjust the angle of your bat with the L stick to match the ball's expected trajectory. When the ball overlaps with this icon, press A to swing the bat. Try to hit the target for a home run. Okay, I see. Damn it. I see hey. now, though. Bink! Yes! Hold up, I was I was busy doing something else. I was hey, hey. Morgana, please shut up, dude. Hey, hey. Morgana, stop! Okay, so aim lower for a home run so I can tip it up. Here we go, this should be good. Never mind. Bro, how do I get oh. the direction changing though? Yeah, so that hits it down. I need to hit it yes. up, but straight. Oh, I got it! That's what I'm talking about! Nice. I don't know exactly what I did. Oh, is it? I have to do the timing right, too, right? Is that it? Oh. Okay. Oh, I got it! I think I got it, I think I got it, I think I got it. No, I don't. Bro, what is up with these Mary Poppins shoes you got on, dude? What size you wear, a seven? You got bitch feet, dude. 
I got it! Ding, ding, ding! Nice. Okay, do I got it locked though? No, I don't. Bro, I need to focus. Hey, hey. Bro, how am I missing double back to back? Hey, hey. I haven't missed in like 20 turns. What? Bro, what? Nice. Bro, some of these shit count. Oh. Okay, that, I know, I get it, but I got, it's like exact. It's like right here. I know it! Nice. Don't say I don't do this, dude! Uh. Oh, baby! That's what I'm talking about. Don't say I don't do this. One more for good luck. Never mind, I'm done. Wrap it up. Mm -hmm. I'm Here done. Three home runs. Congratulations! Here, easy, easy. Want to give it a try? And now you can swing all you want. Would you like to keep playing? Uh, no. Nice going. Upgrade my proficiency. Nice. Okay, nice. A machine we sent in for maintenance will be back in July, so we're planning to add another course to the lineup. Want to head back? What? Dude, I don't care. What month is it? Isn't it like May? It's Wednesday the 11th. I don't know what month that is, though. <clears throat> I can't believe this. A school assembly? During exam week? The hell are they thinking? It's the day after tomorrow, right? I wonder if it's going to be about Mr. Kamashita again. Ugh. I can't believe the school is messing with our schedules like this. I don't care what it's about. It's going to have nothing to do with us students. I wish they stopped dragging us into their mess. Seems pretty rough. A mandatory assembly during exam week? Sounds rough for all of you. Oh, somebody hit me up with the voice acting bag. I'm getting better. I do have a dry mouth though. I need some water. Well, shall we begin? Let the first day of exams begin. What historical figure inspired the the what? The favoring of Magnus Strait? We didn't learn. Teacher, we didn't learn this. Oh, yeah. It's one of these. Um, because it was. I said Yoshi. Yoshi Tatsu. Um, uh, Memento. Yoshi Titsune or Yoshi Tomo. It was Yoshi Titsune. Ooh, we can do this. Shut up, you stupid cat. Oh, I got it right. Let's see an essay question. Please tell me I don't have to write. This looks tough, but let's calm down and think it through. Provide the reason why Memento Yoshitatsu is, veered, is viewed as a hero. Had his brother, right? Yeah, Yotsi Soon, the brother. Okay, wait. Oh. I don't remember, dude. Fijiwara no Hidera? Kisa, I don't think it was this one, because I, I probably would have said, like, Kasame or something. Or was it Yoshinaka? Do I remember any of these? Wait, what was it? Yotsis... Yo... Yoshitsun? <laughs> I don't remember, bro. If this one, I would have said, like, Fiji water or something. Fiji no date or a, no, I don't remember that. Kisho Yoshi. No, I don't remember saying like Yoshi Island or whatever. I think I remember Yoritomo though. Okay. But they ended up coming into conflict. And in the end, when they had to oppose each other. Yoritomo won because this dude was seen as a. A bad guy, a loser, until later on in life. Yeah. But even through the loss... Yes, exactly! Yoshi, uh, Yoshitatsu Yoshi Island was a hero. That's probably because people tend to sympathize less with figures in power, and sympathize more with... The weak? Yeah, not just any weak person, though. People love... Yep, the underdog story, I remember that. 
treated the hero because he stood up against this powerful, uh, uh, yeah. Yep. You finish in time. <laughs> put down your pencils, put your hands under your desk. Ooh, did we pass? Where'd I get an A? Oh my god, I feel like I'm in high school again and I don't like it. Let's get started. This dude looked like he might touch kids. What's your name? Mr. Hirota? Nah, dude. Put your eyebrows down. What are we in? French class? Which brain cell res... What? Which brain function is responsible for the phenomenon of seeing an illusion in this figure? I don't remember, but I know that the lines are the same size. I don't remember the exact words. Is it cognitation? Ooh, we can do this. Uh, uh. I didn't learn this in school, but I'm still leveling up. I'm just that cool. Which of the following maps can you paint without an adjacent areas being the same color? What? Which of the following maps can you paint without any adjacent areas being the same color? Well, what do you mean by that? It depends on what kind of Crayolas you got. I mean, none of it. You can paint any map any color you want. Like, what are we what are we talking about? Which of the following maps can you paint without an adjacent areas being the same color? Is it Japan because it's an island? That doesn't look like it'll work. Then what is it? That question was boo-boo, dude. I don't... Like, bro, what are we even talking about? Okay, class, let's Ooh. get started. Man, I'm gonna fail your test on purpose just so I can come back after school. You can give me detention and spank me with the yards. I mean... <clears throat> Name the book that defined male factor as the chief factor in progress of the human race. Uh, teacher, we didn't learn this. The Company on the Laws, Digital Devil Story, Juliet, The Devil's Dictionary? What? Huh? It's not the Digital Devil Story. That's too new sounding. I don't remember hearing about Juliet. That's Romeo and Juliet. Where thou art thy Romeo? Uh, is it The Devil's Dictionary? I feel like I heard that. I pay attention in this spicy Latina's class because I'm focused on her. What character archetype refers to a mysterious and seductive w a succubus? Oh, never mind. It's uh, the the femme fatale. Ooh, we can do this. I almost got it. I'm dogging these classes, dude. I missed one question. It's going down. We need to pick that up. Uh, school assembly Think we can bring our flashcards in Kamashi is just one of the main things wrong with the school. I've got to hurry home and study That Kamashi is still causing us trouble even when he's gone. Oh, it's fluctuating up and down It's like fluctuating between 5.7 and 6 <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Even kids aren't that dumb. What are y'all talking about dude? Y'all came on our site. It's not like this is Twitter or something. <laughs> Y'all came on the Phantom Thieves website. Look this at Mr. Jellohead. Specific incident. Many of you have voiced concerns that I could not bear to ignore. Shio tried to kill herself. Do you have any comments? We believe the mental health of our student body is absolutely vital. So we've acquired the services of a therapist. The floor is yours, Doctor. Is it gonna be the Doctor I see, dude? Oh, thank God it's not. Isn't he hot? He's not even wearing shoes. What kind of dot? Bro came in with some Adidas slides on like he just played a basketball game yesterday and dropped 90 points. What are you doing, dude? You don't even have... Bro, you don't even got socks on. Is that hygienic? Look at y'all. Isn't he hot? No, he looks like default character number one. Let's see if he gets a name. <clears throat> No, he doesn't. So he's nobody. Whoa, his voice is sexy. Glazing. My name is. Uh huh. Thought that was me. 
Whoa, pause, buddy. My name is Takato Maruki. Okay. Thank you for welcoming me to your school. <laughs> this nigga is a goober. No need to be formal with me, though. I'm just here to counsel anyone who's interested. You can even call me Doc if that would help you feel more comfortable. Why'd you say it like that? You're not good with social skills either. He's just moving with his belly. Look at Dr. Jello Egghead. Yo. What's up, Ryoji? You ever expect this place to actually give a shit about our mental health? They don't. They're doing it for well, PR. Our schools made national news. Maybe they figured they'd look even worse if they didn't do anything for us. And you and me are on the same Dr., wavelength. Uh, Dr. What's his name? I exactly. Maruki. No. Yeah. Wasn't that guy just basically clowning it up on stage? You really think he'll do us any good? <laughs> right. Ryuji. Hey there. What do you want, dude? Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san, right? And that must make you. How do you know us? You just got here. How do you know our names? Right. Well, I was informed of certain students before beginning my tenure here. Well, worldwide. Had, uh, previous interactions with Mr. Kamoshida. It must have been especially tough for you after having just transferred here. <laughs> to think I end up in a castle? Nah, I'm chilling, dog. You're quite the tough youngster. Just don't overdo it, okay? You're not my dad. So, what do you want with us? Ah, yes. I'd forgotten. I know I already offered my services to the student body earlier. But would you three be interested in counseling? Nope, not at all. Right. Huh? How's that surprising? You were just a touch more emphatic about it than I'd expected. Ah. But if you come to my office, you can have free snacks. All you can eat. You think we're 12? Would be nice, but there's still plenty to be had. So, how about it? Right, we're not kids, dude. <laughs> You're right. I know I am. To be frank, I've been explicitly ordered to provide counseling to the students directly involved with Mr. Kamoshida. Well, it's open in with the that. school's interests. For its students. Ah, the school's interest, huh? I know that asking you to be open with a complete stranger like myself is a lot. Making right. this mandatory wouldn't do you any good either. Might as well turn it into a worthwhile experience. Ooh, I know. If you attend my counseling sessions, I'll teach you different ways to improve your mental acuity. What does like that mean? Ways to hone your concentration before exams, or not getting nervous on dates. You How could... That sound? Bro, you couldn't even talk to the high school students. You're over here goofing up. Like, do you know how to practice your mental acuity? Doofus. Uh... Mental training. If I make good of this, may aid our Phantom Thieves activities. There's also snacks. Bro, shut up about your no, Cheetos, right, dude. Right, enough with the snacks. Right. So, which way are you leaning? Yeah, no harm, I guess. <sighs> I guess it'd just be more trouble for us if we didn't go. Right, he won't leave us alone. Mm, yeah. Really? Then I guess it's a deal. Pump your I'll brakes. Be in the nurse's office. Feel free to come by whenever it's convenient for you. All right. Well, we should get going. Okay. Back to our test. I'll see you later. Did I pass? Did I fail? Ryoji failed. My counseling into consideration. Now that we have a deal, I promise I'll do my best to help you. Go and help yourself. I've made a deal. Is he a confidant? Of course he is. He has a name. Your head still hurt? It's uh. hard to believe an ordinary high school student could accomplish such grandiose heists. One would need a heart of steel, unaffected by outside influences, and oh, prepared to act without hesitating. I don't know what that has to do with anything. There has to be someone who helped strengthen your mental state. Sound like somebody you know? Yeah, Corey Kenshin, dude. Give me a name. Corey Kenshin. I am thou. Thou, thou art, art I. I. 
Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become, become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. I'm gonna get that tattooed on me. That's so hard. With the birth of the counselor persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Uh -huh. Wait, what, what, what persona was it? Counselor. You can tell Atlas got <laughs> Atlas got lazy. They literally just called you the counselor persona, which you're in real life. All right. Uh, yep. So hold up, dude. Sorry for keeping you like this. Well then. Goodbye. I have tests to do. Okay, oh, this quiet bitch. down. The counselor will be available to you starting today after school in the nurse's office. Dr. Maruku, I think that's how you say his name, will only be posted here throughout November, so be sure to speak with him soon if you feel the need. For the majority of you, it's your choice whether or not you want to see him, but there are a few students I'll speak with later. On my tip again, and how you got your book standing up like that? The school's decided Visits to Dr. Muraku will be mandatory for these individuals. Ryoji. You guys gonna go for it? What, the counseling? It kinda sounds like we're being forced to. Yeah, we don't really have a choice. I told Muraku I'd do it, but I don't know if I'm ready, really into that idea, you know? Yeah, we don't have much choice. Gotta keep suspicion low probably better to not draw more attention to ourselves and you are on my same wavelength. I think I'm gonna try going today. Hmm. Counseling, eh? Lady Anne's right. Make sure you visit him so you don't draw any attention to yourself, okay? Did you not read my text? I'm the one that said it first, you stupid cat. Morgana, I'm sorry, but sometimes you really be irking me, dude. Are we done with tests? Did I pass? You got couches in here? Yes. Yeah, and you need it. Welcome. Are you ready for your counseling session? I didn't know I had to read. Yeah. Is now a bad time? <laughs> not at all. It's always a good time. So long as I'm not already listening to a student. He kind of had that wagon when he got up. I'm so glad you're here. Would you care for a snack? Well... Shall we begin? Oh, but first, just relax, all right? I'm only here to listen to whatever you wish to talk about. Yes. Although I really only have one thing on my mind right now. Anyway, hmm. yes, I'd say that makes perfect sense. But don't force yourself into talking with me. You could even just grab some snacks and be on your way. If you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's all right. I know I need to talk to someone about this anyway. That is, if you're willing to listen to the super long story, it's literally his job. Why you got lotion next to tissues on the way out? That's weird. I absolutely am. Take all the time you need. No, 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 oh. I see. That's such a horrible thing to do to someone. <sighs> yes, that's why I wanted to get even with him. For Shio. Hmm. And? <sighs> <sighs> At first, I thought Kamashita ought to face the same fate Shiho was going to put herself through. But... <laughs> Later, I realized that wasn't right. If he did take his own life, it wouldn't undo Shiho's suffering. In fact, it just give him the easy way out. Right. Is that so? You know, you are quite the wise, level-headed young woman, Takamaki-san. Huh? Uh, I think you got the wrong... Nope. In fact, I think you're wiser than I was at your age. 
I wasn't anywhere near as mature as you are now. Please don't tell me this is gonna turn into some weird creep again, dude. It's not like I did anything special, though. If I hadn't gone through my own share of hell, I don't think I'd be so mature either. I see. So what's on your mind now? Hmm, right now? What do you think? Hmm. I'm just hoping Shio will get better quickly. We both suffered a lot, but I just want to get back to laughing and having fun together like we used to. At this point, I don't give a rat's ass about Kamashita. Yeah. Now, there's a healthy outlook. You can't change the past, but you still want to keep your chin up and press onward. Is that the gist of it? Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, I'd definitely be better if none of this has happened at all, but... Quite. I definitely agree with you there. But it's impossible to wipe every tragedy from history. Yeah. If only, right? Everyone would be so much happier if we could actually do that. Oh, it seems I lost track of the time. We should wrap things up for today. Thank you so much for coming to see me. Oh no, thank you. I feel a ton better now that it's all off my chest. Be careful, okay? Good to hear it. You deserve it. Feel free to stop by again anytime. Okay, I'm Whoop. gonna get going. All right, we'll do. See you around. Hopefully this guy's good. I don't want to creep. Well, I went in for counseling. You're gonna go too soon, right? How'd it go? Well, it honestly wasn't as rough as I was expecting. I think you should just go and give it a shot. Dr. Moore, I, I don't, okay. Easier to talk to than you did think. Okay, see you tomorrow. Hmm. Didn't you have a counseling appointment? That's in the nurses, okay. Well, I might as well go then. Redhead! How are you? Ah, hello! Are you here for a session as well? You too, huh? Yes. That's right. Dr. Muruku is a wonderful counselor. I've actually been seeing him for a while, before he even came to Shojin. You're a spy, aren't you? I'm on to you. She's the one that ratted on us, dude. Uh -huh. Oh, I didn't know you two were acquainted. Only in passing. Don't go overselling me too hard, though. Yoshiwawa, I'm really nothing special. <laughs> well, I need to get going. Please excuse me. All right then. Goodbye, Yokozuna. What say we get started? What say we get started? That wasn't even a right sentence. Welcome. Thank you for coming. Uh. Yeah, we made a deal. <laughs> What did I just level up? Try to make sure it's worth the trouble. I yep, see. yep, yep. Thank you. I think I've gotten a good grasp of the situation you're in, G-Kun. Well, full disclosure. The school gave me a brief rundown of the circumstances surrounding your transfer here. So much for... <laughs> right, dude. It's in the past. Did you have to force yourself to accept everything that happened? No, that doesn't seem to be it. I didn't really have a choice. So... Now that you've told me more about yourself, I think I've realized something. It seems like you've largely been able to reconcile your internal world with your external one. I should note, that's really truly impressive. Even most adults can't reliably manage that. How to put it? You know how everyone has an internal reality, some concepts of themselves they're striving for. For example? Like wanting to be a model student, or wanting to be loved and relied on, that kind of thing. But that idealized reality and the one actually are often far apart. The gap is responsible for a lot of people's pain. Not everyone can ace their exams, and not everyone can be the heroes they wish they could be. Hmm. You've already been through so much. That kind of suffering 
is usually enough to twist people into dark places. But you, you're standing up to it and confronting a tough, painful reality. To me, that's incredibly admirable. Then again, maybe that's a little weird for you to hear from a guy you just met. <laughs> kind of creeping me out here. I mean, sure, yeah. <laughs> Not any, not even any deflecting self-deprecation. You really are strong. I'm sorry. Well then, <clears throat> well, let's see. Sorry, this went on longer than I expected. Somehow, this conversation just took a life of its own, I guess. <sighs> Don't moan in my ear, sorry. sir. Hey, I've actually got one last request. Do you mind? You know, I... I'm actually doing certain research along with with my duties as a counselor. Why does everybody want to use me as a guinea pig? It's not quite like counseling, more like a type of psychological treatment. Basically, it's a project to learn more about people's metaphorical hearts, what they think, how they feel. How about it? If I get far enough with that, I think it'll be able to help a lot of people. So, I need more details, bro. You can't just hook stuff up to me. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, I guess my point is, I'd like to ask you to help with the research. All you've done, all you've had to do is listen to my theories and then tell me if they spark any ideas or realizations on your end. Please, anytime's good for me. I can work around your schedule. Oh, and uh, I got lots of snacks too. You can have them, they're yours. Bro, cough up some cheddar, dude. Better make it worth it. Why me, though? Yeah, why me? Well, to be honest, sometimes I hit a wall in my research. I've been working on it alone. But some second opinions from a perspective like yours could really push it forward. Oh, and don't worry. I promise I'll repay you for it. Well, let's see. I know. Maybe I could teach you some tips for mental training. You need to teach my wallet how to be fatter. I happen to know a lot on the subject. I'm sure I can cook up some special re regime for you. Regimen. If you're dedicated enough. I'm sure you can draw out your full potential. Thank you. I guess that's our second deal. Okay, our bond is growing stronger. Damn, we leveled up fast. When Joker is inflicted with the ailment, he may recover. Ooh, okay. All right. Okay, I'm gonna come back to see you a lot, sir. Trade contact information? Whoa, don't be on no weird stuff. We just met. I'll contact you when I've got time. Or when I need some input from you. That should do it. Now. Now. I'd better do my part to repay you. Let's talk about mental training. Exams on a Saturday. Outrageous. <sighs> it's so sleepy. I ended up pulling an all-nighter once I realized today is the last day of exams. Wait, staying up studying? Right. Nah, I gave up on the exam. I was playing some games, and then before I knew it, it was morning. This guy's gonna fail. Dude, you're failing for sure, dude. Eh, it'll be fine. Nobody's expecting anything of me, so I don't gotta worry about grades. Dude, do better for yourself, though. Good morning. Yo, look who else is yawning. Exams are almost over, so I thought I'd make one last effort across the finish line. <gasps> Impressive, Lady On. Hop You're off, too. Quite different from the stupid monkey I know. Oh, <laughs> watch your mouth! Don't give me that crap. Your brain's tiny compared to mine. Size is meaningless if there's nothing inside, you know. How was that? He took you. Will you please shut up? You're gonna make me forget everything I remember. Huh? You feel her watching you? Am I imagining things? No, she's watching. What? You see a groper or something? What? No, that's not it. It's nothing. Anne, stop saying that. Hmm? I know she's watching us. Ooh, anime cut. Oh, that's a grown man. God, that guy got off. Isn't this bad? Do you not talk in the anime either? Hey, at least act like you care. Uh, 
fine. Come on. We setting up a trap? I don't like this. Is it Kamashita? <laughs> Who is this? Why are we on his dick? Is that Psy? Uh, Who are you? Hey, uh, are you sure it's him or are you just that self conscious? I'm not that. Is there something you want? <laughs> Dude, you came up to her. You are the one stalking me! Right. Stalking you? That's outrageous. I know you've been following me ever since the train! That's because... <laughs> My goodness. Oh, that's a guy! I had wondered why you left the car, so this is where your passion led. All is well that ends well. Ha 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 ha! That's the next guy we gotta take down. Is that your dad? I saw you from the car, and I couldn't help myself from chasing after you. Why didn't you say didn't that then? the calls from Sensei, but thank goodness I caught up to you. Okay. What? And do not fall for You're that. The woman I've been searching for all this time. Please, won't you? Don't you say it. W wait a minute. Don't I... you dare. Be the model for my next art piece. Oh, never mind. M model? I thought he was gonna propose. All that I've drawn till now has been lacking, but I feel a passion from you unlike anyone else. This man's highly suspicious. You're jealous. Is this a recruit for some shady business? Right. Will you cooperate with me? What do you say? <laughs> Hold your horses. Who are you anyways? Good question. Oh. Where are my manners? I'm a second year at Kosei High's Fine Arts Division. My Don't name believe is Yusuke you. Kitagawa. Yusuke. Bro. I'm Madarame Sensei's pupil, and I am being. Yep, Madara, Madara, we remember that. Striving to become an artist. Huh? Do you mean that Madarame? The one who was on Good Morning Japan the other day? The very same. You know who that is? He was introduced as a super famous Japanese style artist who's been recognized all over the world. He's still a bad guy. But we heard that name the other day in Mementos. Thank you for pointing it out. Yusuke. I'm sorry, Sensei. I'll be right there. That old guy's Matarame? Easy bag. Let's defeat him. Matarame Sensei's exhibition will begin at the department store near the station tomorrow. I'll be there to help out on opening day. Please come by. It'd be great if you could give me your answer in regard to being a model then. I bet you have no interest in the fine arts, but I'll give you tickets too. Are we coming? Well then, I hope to see you there tomorrow. Don't side glance me, dude. I'll knock that swoop off your hair. That guy's as easy to read as a book. You're not planning on going, are ya? I think I will. She's gonna get close to Madara. Crap, look at the time. I'll see you later. What do you mean? We're going to the same place. How dare he go out We literally have class head. together. I've memorized that face of yours, Yusuke. What are you gonna do? Claw his face off? You became acquainted with Matarame's pupil by chance? That's a little too convenient. It makes me wonder if you're even telling the truth. So be it. What I want to know most is your method. It's Method true that what? Marame was an unforgivable criminal worthy of the scorn thrown at him. He was an adult who cultivated his own fame and fortune by sacrificing the livelihood of children. Whoa! He'd been covering his tracks for years. How did you uncover the truth in such a short span of time? Because y'all don't do your job right. Y'all don't do your job right. That's why Dan Snyder was able to do the same thing. Oh, Nickelodeon, don't come after me. I know your secrets. Stay quiet. Fine. Let's suppose that people's hearts can be changed by stealing their treasure, like you've said. Uh, if yeah. so, a different suspicion arises. 
People have gone mad or lost consciousness never to recover, like the subway accident in April. I don't know what you're talking about. Depending on how you look at it, that could be taken as a phenomenon for a sudden change of heart, too. Yeah. Were you related to those as well? I don't know what you're talking about, and I'm not talking because I ain't no snitch. Hmm, I see. <clears throat> Fine. Let's get back to Matarame's case. Keep it concise and stick to the facts. How about you stick to... I don't even know. I didn't have a comeback. Hmm. Today's the last day of exams, huh? Seemed like some of those were kind of tough. I only missed one, dude. Yep. Well, it wasn't too bad. You should have gotten a decent score, right? Yeah. Oh, I didn't have to do any today? Finally done with exams. Are you going to go for counseling? I saw the volleyball guys getting called in. Yeah, because they're getting touched. I want to see my score. I want to see Ryoji. Why did I not see my score? Uh, it's over. They haven't been graded yet. It's over. Ryoji, you didn't even try, dude. How about you? Uh, yeah, I'm feeling confident. Well, I only missed you one. Traitor! You didn't study, dude. That's Wait, your fault. Can we stop talking about the exams. Like it or not, they're gonna come back graded next week. Rather than focusing oh, that's on dude. it's over with. What are you looking at? The usual site. We it's still have to no do that use. thing. There ain't any useful info. Number of posts are getting less and less too. I am not letting this end as a one-hit wonder, okay? <laughs> we are not designer. I'm getting antsy though. I know. Why don't we go eat lunch somewhere? We All still right. have some money left over from the other day. I want sushi then, or domestic raised eel. Um. We don't have that much left. I do, y'all brokies. Oh, right. There are those tickets to Matarame's exhibit. Wait, that's tomorrow. Yeah. Don't tell me. Was it love at first sight with that Yusuke guy? You're a cat, not like dude. That. Oh, of course not. When I was watching that special on TV, his artwork was pretty nice. Plus, we've got free tickets. I mean, Besides, yeah, we could hang out tomorrow. This could also be related to what we heard in Mementos. Matarame, was it? Yes. Yeah, I'm curious too. I think it's the same guy. Hmm. Well, I know it's the same guy. That aside, what should I do about the other two tickets? Want to go appreciate some fine arts for once? Duh, we're going. Fine arts, huh? I suggest we should all go together. Why was this even on the table? Fine arts builds character. A phantom thief who can't identify an original is lame. You're a cat. Well, if everyone's going, it's settled then. We were going in to begin with. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Just the phrase going to an art exhibit sounds kind of mature. Let's meet at the exhibit entrance tomorrow. All right, bet. Ryoji, please start studying. You're holding us back. Okay. I'm curious to know about Madara. I can't afford to be late tomorrow. We better not. Well, I need to do a video rating this soundtrack. I need to do a video uh, Persona soundtrack versus Kingdom Hearts soundtrack because it's going to be a close one, dude. It's going to be a close one. Oh, okay. So crowded. It'll be a pain in the ass. We fit it, dude. So don't stick your head out too much, all right? Right. You came. Um, yeah. You really came. Dude. What'd you expect when you left us those tickets? Right. Make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors. Yusuke, I'm about to knock your teeth out. Keep playing with me and my boy Ryoji. Come now. I'll show you around. I'd like to speak more about the picture I'd like to draw, too. Who do I know this voice well, from? See you guys later. No, we're going with you. What do you mean? Will Lady Han be all right? What if he drags her behind some painting and tries something funny? That's what I agree. Why are we not going with her? Where do I know his voice I from? I told you not to come out. Are we really going to appreciate the fine arts? Can't we just go home? No, we need to be here. Yeah. I guess we should do a quick pass through at once. Uh, which way are we supposed to start? You start with the right. Or you cut mm -hmm. the line. He's right there. It's that old man from the other day. 
We continue to be truly surprised by your imagination. You have such expansive styles. It's hard to believe that it all stems from one person. Where in the world does all your inspiration come from? These paintings look so basic. Well, it is rather difficult to put into words. But they're just pictures. They naturally well up from within my heart. Like bubbles rising one after another in the spring. You got bubble guts? Naturally, you say. What's important is to distance oneself from worldly desires, such as money and fame. My atelier is a modest shack, but it is more than enough to pursue true beauty. Weren't you just riding around in a limo with a chauffeur yesterday, talking about distance yourself from money and fame? If you really bout it, why didn't you pull up on a scooter, dude? Pull up on a horse. I'm on to you, Madara. A shack? I, I doubt see. that. So the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from the great artist Madarame. Shake Shack. You would understand if you saw it. I kind of want Wendy's. <laughs> Wasn't the word shack something? Madarame-san is actually here? Over there. I'm so glad I came on opening day. Oh my god. Okay, stop pushing. Wasn't the word shack used There's somewhere? Too many people. I don't know what you mean, Ryoji. Anyways, we gotta head for the exit. Don't die on us, alright? I didn't know there were so many types of Japanese art. Mm. Usually one concentrates on their own style. However, Sensei creates all this by himself. Where do He's I know special. this voice from? There you are, Yusuke. Hold up, it's gonna dry me. I know Yusuke's voice. Not gonna lie. Matthew Mercer, the voice actor, he got a pretty good catalog. Monsters University, Hunter Hunter, JoJo's. Um, they're saying it's Yamato from Naruto Shippuden, so that's probably it. Let me hear him again. Sensei. Ah, the girl from yesterday. Are you enjoying the exhibit? Yeah, I can hear it. I don't know how to put it into words, but it's really amazing. You're sensing something from the artwork. That alone is enough to give us artist satisfaction. You're a creep, dude. This so is Sai over here. Piece, Yusuke. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Why he got all them keys though? You'd imagine artists would be difficult to approach. But he seems really friendly. Indeed. Painting I wanted to see in person. Yusuke, this one? why are your pants too so tight? I can see your butt, dude. They they hugging your cheeks. They're small. You got nothing to show for. I guess it's the painter's anger. I'm not sure, but I sense this strong frustration from it. Bro, no, they just splashed a bunch of paint on a canvas and y'all are gonna buy it for a million dollars acting like your two-year-old cousin can't do it better. Talking about, I can see the anger in it. Nah, what you see is pure scamization. That fool said, ooh, I'm about to finesse. You can't finesse a finesser. Game recognized game, real recognized real. And this dude is looking real familiar to the game of finesse. To think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a piece. <laughs> Don't mind in my ear. Don't mind me. There are better pieces than this one. Come now, this way. I have a feeling Yusuke made this piece. And he's not getting the shine for it. Uh, Madara is taking the credit from kids' art. They said that, uh, he was exploiting them or something. Hey! He's frustrated that he's not getting the shine. Uh, that old lady totally elbowed me. Thanks to that, I remember now. Remember what? Well, let me get to it. Right. It's about a post online. Okay. Detective music. Look at this. Why'd you leave without me? You got it all wrong. We got dragged into this huge crowd and- And come listen to this. Anyways, you gotta look at this too. This post might be about Madarame. Please read to the class. What to say? A master of the Japanese arts is plagiarizing his people. I told you. I told Only you. His public face is shown on TV. Yep. Plagiarizing? That means stealing. I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but hearing Shaq and Madarame triggered it. Why Shaq? His treatment of the pupils who live with him is awful. He teaches nothing and bosses them around. 
He treats them inhumanely, as if disciplining a dog. Abuse on top of plagiarism, huh? Mm. If this is real, it'll be a huge scandal. But why does Shaq trigger I if it? I Kitagawa-kun posted this. I mean, he is a pupil of his. Yeah. Who knows? It's anonymous and all. In that case, it's possible the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. A man like that doing such a thing? I wonder if we can ask that shadow from earlier about this. We don't oh, know who that is. Actually, we just need to talk to him in reality. We do know who he is. How are we gonna go about that? Right. Are we gonna explain it all, starting with Mementos? Besides, if we make a move out in the open, there's the possibility that Madarame will find out. Mm. Oh, yeah, right. Hey, what do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem suspicious? Yeah, he does. Yeah. I know, right? This all fits way too well to just be a coincidence. If this post is legit, ain't this the kind of target we've been waiting for? It's exactly who we're waiting well, for. yeah, but... What do you mean, is but... Is it really true? By the way, what did you do about the whole modeling thing? Kitago Akun gave me his contact info. And we're gonna calm down. Sensei's atelier. He said he lives there, right? Perfect timing. Let's try going tomorrow. We're off to Madarame's house right after school. All right, deal. Huh? You want me to model tomorrow? We need this, this information, Anne. What? We're just gonna go talk to Kitagawa. Oh, that's what you meant. Anne, please tell me you're not falling for this dweeb. Okay. We need to find out rumor about Madara is true. If it is, this might just be exactly what we needed. Okay, let's get started. I'm your school counselor. Thanks to the school, I can even talk to you outside of counseling now. Oh, God. I want to talk a little about mental health and perception can affect you. Don't worry. I don't want to stress you out or anything. Just relax and listen. How much do you guys know about the emotional mind? So, see... What's going on in your own mind can affect your body pretty significantly. There's proof it there's proof it can heal you, depending on your outlook. So, Jeek, why does everybody call on me? Any ideas? What do we call the phenomenon where believing in treatment's power is enough to improve your condition? A placebo effect. This is it. That's right. Yep, that's correct. I learned that from Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Some people specify that placebos don't actually have any curative properties. But even if the medicine does nothing chemically, it can affect your perception and help you feel better. On the other hand, if you don't trust the medicine to begin with, it might make you feel even worse. We call that a nocebo. I wasn't even close. Y'all are just stupid then. Because I definitely knew this by high school. Maybe I should... No. Nice. Knowledge. Hmm. But my point is that our mind and bodies are more connected than we think. So it's important to not push yourself too hard. Remember, your mind needs time to rest too. Facts. And it's my job to help you with that. So, come by the nurse's office whenever you're feeling down. How did you turn this into an ad for yourself? Hmm. The mind affects the body, huh? You think I'll change back into a human if I just believe? No. What? You're a cat through and through. Stop thinking you're one of us. You're not, weirdo. A train. <laughs> this ain't any different from how I get home from school, you know. Well, what do you want us to do, Ryoji? The train is the fastest way to go. Right. Plus, we can bring pets on here. It's not like we have a car. Hey, who are you calling a pet? Dude, be quiet. We didn't pay the pet fare. Right. I'm the one guiding you to your destination. Bro, Morgana, you relax. Be me master. Shut up. Oh, kitty. Oh, shoot. Is that your pet, mister? I heard it meowing. It's a stuffed animal. Yeah, it's just a toy. It meows when you press on its head. You heard her. Press on its head. This is ridiculous. Morgana, shut up, dude.
<laughs> Time to button mash. I don't like this motion. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Ew. That's so funny. I want to hear it again. Where are your parents, dude? I just threw open my mouth. Oh, seriously? The next stop is Shibuya. Get out of here, kid. Doors will open on the left side. All right, bet. We're going. This is our stop. Well, see you later. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Morgana gonna be pissed. But I don't give a damn. So, which line do we gotta transfer to? Doesn't look like there are any stations close by to that address. If anything, this is the closest station. What? And we gotta walk the rest of the way? What kind of phantom thief takes the train and then walks to their destination? Us. Dad, we're complaining. Right. It's supposedly a shack, but this is the neighborhood he lives in. As expected of a famous artist. Ooh, Looks like the fancy the fastest part. route is to get to the station square and then go to Central Street. All right, Let's Central meet. Street. What? We're at the right address. Seems pretty the nice. The plate does say Matarame. Uh, you ring the bell. Me? The walls won't collapse when I do, will they? I don't know. No one sneeze or we'll blow this house down. Takamaki. You two are here as well. Relax, hey, you say. But uh, we ain't here to talk about the modeling thing. There's something we gotta ask you. Jump him. Is it true, Matarame's plagiarizing stuff? He's abusing people too, yeah. Are you serious? Watch your voice just get you deeper. Read about it online. This? I'm not scared <laughs> of you. <laughs> Preposterous! Not only is the plagiarism impossible, but abuse? He welcomes pupils into his own home! This is no act of violence, it is charity! And I'm the one residing here and studying under him. I'm saying it's not true, so it's beyond doubt. You might mm. be lying about it. Right. That... that is utter rubbish. So you are lying about it. I had no family when Sensei took me in and raised me into what you see now. A if hipster? If you continue to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rue this day! Alright, Neville, relax. You really think that? Right. Yusuke, what's the matter? I heard you yelling. These people are slandering you with baseless rumors. Forgive them, Yusuke. They must have heard some bad rumors and came in worry for their friend's safety. I don't trust you. Understood, Sensei. Well, even I doubt that a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. That's not what we meant. I said, no, that's what I'm I meant. Sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, I do have neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? Now, if you'll excuse me. See? <sighs> that was discourteous of me. I'm sorry. Yeah, say you're sorry before your daddy spank you. I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. It's his maiden work, as well as his most representative piece. It's titled Sayuri. How does how does that clear him of anything? That's like being like, man, R. Kelly didn't do it. Listen to I believe I can fly. Like, wh wh Yusuke, where's the correlation? Just because he can paint... A woman with a big forehead doesn't mean he's not beating you, dude. Sayuri? This was the painting that inspired me to become an artist. Okay. It's so beautiful. Debatable. I don't know all this fine art stuff, but even I can tell that this is impressive. All right, fair. When I first saw you, I felt the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. Me? I wish to pursue beauty like this, and I believe drawing you will be part of that pursuit. I implore you, seriously consider my offer. Is she getting paid, I'm though? I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. If you'll excuse me, then. I don't trust y'all. At all. Those two seem like nice guys, don't they? Let's break in. Maybe the Matarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. Man, right when we thought we found a new target, too. How's the Metanav? Results 
Hey, the app. Told you. Was it picking up our conversation? This display. It means that Madarame has a palace too, right? Well, I tell you. But why? Madarame, plagiarism, and then Shaq, huh? These seem to be the keywords. Mm. For real though, what the hell's going on? He's a bad Does dude. Does an old man like him really have a palace? We have the person's name and the location. All that's left is the what that Madarame mistakes the shack for to enter his palace. Mm. You mean like how Kamoshida thought the school was his castle? That's right. Let's try saying some things. They can be random guesses. Shack. It's a bit sudden though. Uh, Why don't we start with castle? Like his basement? Then what about prison? No basement. Ah, what a pain. Basement. In jail. A warehouse. And guidance counseling office. Might as well add farm. No candidates found. Not a single hit. Can I try basement? Come back another time? No, let me do this. That's related to artists. If we think from there, what would it be? Art school and arts. The museum. Oh! Getting navigation. Whoa, really? I really said basement, dude. And I thought I was onto something. Basement wasn't even an option. Hey, when did you activate the nav? You surprised me. I'm just that guy. Choice. I think we just happened to get it right. Right. What if I hadn't noticed and then wandered off and got caught by an enemy? Probably would have figured it out once he started walking on two legs. Right, dummy. So even you can slip into the metaverse without realizing it, Morgana? Yes. In a place with minimal cognitive distortion, the differences can be subtle. Forget that. Look! This is a cool set design, though. That shack is seriously some kind of museum? This is not a shack at all. Let's go check it out. So extravagant to the point that it's gaudy. I kind of like it. It's a museum, right? Yes. This is Matarame's? Yes. Well, a palace is a world formed by a mind twisted by desire. Remember Kamoshida's castle? Matarame's artwork I know. is on display at museums in reality, too, though. His exhibit was popular, and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? Because they always want more, the ego. You got a point. It ain't related to plagiarism or abuse, either. We haven't been inside. Let's try looking around. Racking our brains here won't do us any good. Right. Right. That aside, ain't a museum a must for Phantom Thieves? Uh... Sure. There's probably traps too. I mean, yeah, we know that. Yeah, all those old man's fans were super strong and all. That has nothing to do with this. But man, just look at that insane crowd. Right. For some mid art. <laughs> yes. It's time we will begin our infiltration. Are we gonna have to wait in that gigantic line? Uh, Don't be stupid. We're not going in the front door. But there's a high wall around the building. Shall we go? We'll just have to find our way up and over it then. In any case, let's get going. I should write something. Next episode. We'll get in there next episode. This episode, I told you, we were just passing our test. We were just passing our test and we did that. Flying colors. Hopefully, you see it. We're 14 hours, 15 hours in pretty much. And we've got our new target. I'm glad we didn't have to wait that long. We, you know, it wasn't like completely just like giving you free reign. I mean, it kind of was, but you still had like side jobs to do. So I think they're, they're doing really well with this free time aspect in this game. But hey, man, if you enjoyed this and enjoying this series, like the video, subscribe. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. And uh, the next Batman game is going to be starting up soon, uh, probably next week, can you feel me? Also, I'm going to leave a link in the description to my reaction channel. I got some videos going up there. I got Blue Lock. I think I'm going to post some more of that and, you know, some other stuff going up, you feel me? 
But with that being said, I appreciate every last one of you for watching. Yes, you, Morgana, all the way in the back. And I will see y'all in the next episode. Peace.